Hey guys, Rorius here. Welcome back to the Talus Principle. I literally started exactly where I ended the previous episode. <laughs> uh, we've got a bunch of stuff to listen to, but we're on the final hub of the entire game. I forget if we're on episode 14 or episode 16 now, but um, whatever we're on, <laughs> uh, we're so close. We're so close now. Okay, Arcady Journal 108. The team diminishing, oh, sorry, team diminishing by the day. Proud of them, nevertheless. Archive now incomprehensibly incompre huge, still missing thousands of works. Impossible to truly finish. Work already commenced on a sorting program to help catalog the archive resources in our absence, but like everything else, it has its fo foibles. Talk to Alexandra. Tell us going well. Maybe the archive's first year, first user will be a terrestrial after all. Estimate about a week, maybe 10 days before I'm unable to keep working. A betrayal to leave early? Question mark. I, it's really curious, I'm, I'm so fascinated by what apocalypse they're facing, like what is killing them? Because seemingly they're able to keep working through the like initial infection or initial effects of whatever apocalypse is happening. But then they have to like, st they, they stop being able to work or they, they like want to head home to spend the last days with their families. I don't know. Invention of borders. The invention of, the invention of borders by uh, Fatima Nguyen. What today's nationalists and neo-segregationalists fail to understand, Kwame said, is that the basis of every human culture is, and always has been, synthesis. No civilization is authentic, monolithic, pure. The exact opposite is true. Look at your average western nation. Its numbers, Arabic. Its alphabet, Latin. Its religion, uh, Levantine. Levantine. Its philosophy, Greek. Need I continue? <laughs> And each of these examples can itself be broken down further. The Romans got their alphabet from the Greeks, who created theirs by stealing from the Phoenicians, and so on. Our myths and religions, too, are uh, syncretic, sharing, repeating, and adapting a large variety of elements to suit their needs. Even the language of our creation, the DNA itself, is impure, defined by a history of amalgamation, not only between nations, but even between different human species. Tasks. Discuss this excerpt in the context of Wolfgang Welsh's theory of trans culture culturality. <laughs> something, the novel, something. Yeah, no, 100%. That's like, for me, that's totally how I feel about that kind of stuff as well. Now Uriel pointed his sword to the Tree of Life, which grew in the heart of dead Jerusalem. Behold, the tree grows still, though the city is dead. Within all that is mortal, there is the seed of Im immortality. For it is an immortal that fashioned it from chaos and void. Being a humble man of little wisdom, I asked, Great Uriel, we are not allowed to eat from the tree of life. How many th we then be saved? And Uriel commanded me to stretch out my hand, and he gave me his fiery sword, which burned my hand, and he said, Only by sacrifice can you free the world from the dominion of sin. With a prayer on my lips I fell upon Uriel's sword, and it pierced my heart, and truly, on my body, the stigmata of the Lord appeared, dripping blood that was not my blood onto the ground. And the seven heads of the dragon that were crowned in black clouds receded, and light fell upon the earth, and Jerusalem was born again. Thus the angels departed, having delivered their message, and I woke in the fields of our fair land. What story is that? Apocrypha 9. <laughs> is, that a, is that a story in the Bible? Or is that like a, one of those ones that was rejected? Because I know there's there's uh, stories that were rejected for one of the latest, or for one of the Bible, uh, like, accumulations that featured Jesus fighting a dragon, so, <laughs> so yeah. Ooh, this has got a controller. God, there's no time. Just not enough time. Ugh. We're trying to build the future out of old video game code and half-finished research projects. We should have had years, maybe decades. <sighs> the kind of money they used to put into building bombs. Ugh. <laughs> if I stop and think about how crazy this is, I will have a nervous breakdown. So I won't. Yeah, okay. Back to work, Alex. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> so even in the context of the of the narrative in the in the game. They're using a game 
they're using game code to simulate this simulation. <laughs> this place should be cold, but I don't feel cold. It's as if I was observing everything from a distance. It's pointless. And that's Akarpos. Intelligence is more than just problem solving. Intelligence is questioning the assumptions you're presented with. Intelligence is the ability to question existing thought constructs. If we don't make that part of the simulation, all we'll create is a really effective slave. <laughs> yeah, suppose. Suppose so. So yeah, their whole project is they're trying to create like a human equivalent. They're trying to create a human from code. Something that will question like what it's told like a human would and not just immediately take things for face value for what it's been told. Okay, what was this called? It's crisscross something. Conundrum advanced. Oh, so yeah, it's, it's the crisscross con conundrum like in a previous uh, hub. This is the av advanced version. There's a sigil there. Oh. Is there no, like, is there no box to put the things on? Wait, wait, wait. Let's just see how far... Oh, yeah, there's no way I can do it, like, from behind here. I'll have four, won't I? Yeah, so I should be able to do three. Like that. And then, like... Like that. Oh, but I need the friggin... <laughs> okay, well... This is gonna be confusing, but I know what I'm gonna do. Okay. And then basically it's up to... the other copy of me to do all the rest of the work. So I'll just hold fast forward for a while. Now I need to pick this up and redo this. And then I can go back here. Okay. Okay, so straight away got this and this. And I've got this. Yes, yeah, so now he's just like confused. <laughs> he's just gonna stand there for hours now. <laughs> Before I continue, firstly, let's get, get the sigil. <laughs> What's around here? Oh, it's just a, a shortcut back. Hey. <laughs> Alright, that's that done. Uh. Sometimes the simpler mechanics are the harder, like, the simpler the puzzle, the harder the mechanics. So I shouldn't worry too much about, uh, these ones. These are all gonna be hard. Prison break. Okay. There's the sigil right there. But I have to go all the way in <laughs> to do this. This is gonna be a complicated one. This is gonna be fucking complicated. <laughs> I could feel it already. Let's just use the fan piece. I should grab the other fan piece because I'm probably going to need it. Don't really want to lock myself in already. I'm kind of curious as to how many of these I can hit. Okay, I wouldn't be able to hit all of them with this. Only two of the ones that I can that I've selected I'd be able to grab from this spot. 
Okay, what about this? Same two. Even then, it might not even work. Because, uh... Trees might be in the way. The music that's playing now, at the stage... It feels so somber. Wait, let's just put this there. And let's send my myself over here. Okay. <laughs> Don't feel like I'm I feel like I'm at least scratching the surface of these. Before we do anything, let's just, um, open that up. Because that's one I can actually just access, and it just has a box in it, that's it. Hmm. I have a second laser emitter, but I can't... I don't think I can use it... ...the way I want to use it. No, because I only have access to it on the other side. So I suppose that's the only thing I can do with this for now. I'm just gonna check though. I don't wanna get myself stuck. If I get through there. What's through there? Oh, there's another laser sender. I suppose you gotta break that out of prison. I think that's the idea. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I think I have to take this with me over. Like this? That way I can. Do that. And maybe... Ah... Ooh... Wow... Ooh... <laughs> okay, oh... Oh... <laughs> Wait a second... I need to take one more thing through here with me. What can I take, though? <laughs> what can I take? Hmm. I might have needed this. <laughs> Would I have been able to get that, though? Oh, I suppose I don't need that laser anymore, do I? I do and I don't. Oh, I do. Oh god, I'm trapped. <laughs> ah! Can I pass this through the window? <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I need to restart. <laughs> Shit. I probably didn't need to reset, but I can't think now how I would uh, solve this. I'm a little lost. Damn, I'm friggin... I'm friggin... my brain. I don't have pulses of pain anymore like I had in the previous episode. But, uh... I might... my brain's melting now. <laughs> it's just melting. Straight up melting. Oh, I suppose... Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, then. <laughs> okay. That opens that up to that direction. I take this. Place that there. If I go like this... That will mean that if I take this one away, it still f has laser to it. Yep. Okay. It's got to be a way to get that laser, to get all of the laser pieces out. Unless that laser piece is always trapped. Because it will. This will mean if I get just the two lasers out, that means I have more laser than I started with. 
<laughs> I'm so tongue-tied. Because I feel like I'm only able to escape with two of these. Sorry, with one of them. I actually feel like I'm only able to, able to escape with one of them. <laughs> so, I'm so distressed. <laughs> Just, uh, oh dear. Because I feel like I, I feel like what I need what I need to do is I need to leave one behind, one of the laser pieces behind. Um. Shit. Okay. Well. Now it doesn't fucking matter, does it? That piece is just stuck. Oh, I suppose I could probably get it through the door here. Oh my god. <laughs> I decided to place it as far back as possible, making it impossible to use. Okay. <laughs> that other one that's through the through there is just stuck there. <laughs> uh, Alright, so now I think the time comes uh, that I need to get back here. Okay, there's that. I don't think I really need to do that one. Okay. Let's begin this. Oh my god. There we go. So, it shouldn't work yet. Once I get that going, it should hopefully be self-sufficient. Yep. And that should activate a bunch of other stuff. Which means I can now take this away and put that on there. Oh, <laughs> this is such tongue twisters. Okay, I cannot get that one. That's good to know. I don't think there'd be a way to get that one. Uh, I opened up some doors I didn't need to open, just out of... I'm so close! Uh, is there anywhere there's an item that's being used that doesn't need to be used that I could cover? Oh, of course! I could get this to use that. <laughs> yes. Okay, which means I can get this box. And that should be it. That's it. Isn't it? Yay! <laughs> That took me like a good 20-25 minutes to solve. Holy shit. Alright, well we only have two more puzzles and that's- That's it. That's the entirety of all the puzzles. Well, for the main hubs. <laughs> Holy crap. Carrier pigeons. Ooh, it's a big open space. Like one of my portal puzzles. <laughs> it's one of my Portal Unity reboot puzzles. I just make things really, really big. Like really, really open and wide. The heck? What do you mean I can't take? Oh, I can, I can take it. I was able to, for a split second there, it showed up with the, like, take, yeah, take Hexadron. There we go. Okay, so I have these. What does this do? Turns that on and off. <laughs> oh, and it returns back to its spot, I see, I see. Zoom. <laughs> okay. Okay, wait, what was this puzzle called? I'm really confused as to what I'm doing. K 
carrier pigeons. So these these things are my carrier pigeons. I'm sort of guessing that. Uh, do I need to put? I need to put these on top of these, right? Oh my god! I can't seem to put it on when it's on the floor for some reason. Okay. So instead, you put them on like this, right? Hey! <laughs> oh, I suppose, yeah, you have to put it on over here. I think I know what I gotta do. Okay, I think I'm, I'm gonna need to take this. But we'll come back to that in a bit. Okay. Now I take the one off here. And I put it on here. <laughs> I think this is more straightforward than the previous one. Place that there. And then I go and stand on this. That interrupts it for a brief second where I can pull this off. Yay! <laughs> that was cool, I like that one. That was a cool puzzle. It wasn't too, like, ridiculous. <laughs> There's apparently still a star in here somewhere. Probably involves that high blue laser. That's like the most common puzzle thing. Okay. Dead man's switch. I can j I can barely see the blue laser from here, so it's probably not that one. Um, is that the only thing it does? <laughs> I think that's the only thing it does. Ooh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I need a box. Unless it's just does. Where's a blue laser? Where would we get a blue laser from? Because there's a red laser here. But what would we need a red laser for? There's nothing in here that uses red lasers, is there? Well, here's the blue laser emitter. I think we're gonna need to... I wish I could take multiple things at a time. It's so tedious. Go as far along as possible. Grab this. Go as far along as possible. <laughs> There's one more over here. Damn it. <laughs> but wait, what do I actually need this for? What can I see from here? Eh? Eh? <laughs> okay, I don't think I'm supposed to go... I'm, I'm getting that feeling all of a sudden. I'm not supposed to go that way. If I don't do it that way, then how the hell do I get all the pieces I need for that? <laughs> I are confused. Because I, I totally... The closest I can get to it is there, using the red. Way shorter than the blue. Unless I'm not supposed to do that. Unless the idea is that I should actually go like this. Just grab it. No, no. Grab it. And then like place it far along as possible. There. And then this one can go to these two. And I'll have to press down on the button myself. 
that'll activate something over there. Most specifically, it's the it's the box, which I can then put on the button. So I can get access. Okay, it's all coming together. <laughs> it's... Just for now. I don't think I need that anymore. As long as I have that right by the window and this activated on the other side, that should be fine. Oh, but now I need the blue laser. Oh, but the blue laser I should hopefully be able to also put through this window. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed it's gonna, not going to interfere with the red one. It interferes with that one? That one's moving upwards. God damn it. <laughs> Shit. Right. Fingers crossed this time. <laughs> Do it from the other side. This is gonna work. I've gotta make this work. There we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so we've got the got the blue. I don't know why I've been bothering with this one. Pick it up with that. Okay. First things first. Oh. <laughs> Shit. First things first. <laughs> Get the friggin' sigil. I didn't unlock any doors, so it's not gonna make that any easier. Were there any other blue... circle? Like, blue receivers around? I can't remember. Also, can I see the blue lasers from, like, the doorway or something? Or anywhere else in the puzzle? Actually, I might be able to see it from on top of a box or something like that. Because it might be that... It might be that sort of deal where it's like... It makes you think you need to get it from... This puzzle, but that you actually get it from the previous puzzle? No, I think it's actually not right the right position for it. I suppose... No, I, oh, actually, yeah, no, I suppose I could do that. Maybe, maybe I don't need to have, because I don't need the red laser anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I actually did this, like, the harder way. I think the idea is that you're supposed to just go, like, oh my god, just fucking get out of the way. <laughs> get out of it. Oh. Yeah, I think I might have to do it the long way. Okay, I didn't need to take it from the other level. I just need to get rid of the red laser. <laughs> yeah, is that the that's the only um star, isn't it? Yeah, that's everything. That's this whole hub. And so it is done. <laughs> you have overcome each trial that I set before you. You have shown faith, and wisdom, and perseverance. Therefore, I judge you worthy, and I say unto you, Come to the gates of eternity, where you shall be granted everlasting life. Yeah, that's the door to eternity, which is like the faith ending. I've, what I've discovered is that last time I played this, I must have done the backup, save backup system so that um, I could get a multiple endings. So, so, so apparently I have actually got that ending before. But then I like backed up my save and I went and did the regular ending, the, the proper ending. We haven't done the last messenger, have we? I don't think we did. How long do I have? <laughs> do I have time to do this? I totally don't have time to do this. But there's, there's a few more things I want to do before we end the game. <laughs> Why am I doing this to myself?
Oh! I did that like first- Whoa, that was fast! I did that freaking live. <laughs> it's... As I said before, I have that funny feeling that uh, these this might actually be the easiest of the messengers. So yeah. <laughs> Damn it. They're the same kind of piece. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> I'm doing this much faster. That's good. Okay, where's this receiver and sender? Oh, what's what's Andrea? I look at this inert shape. Alexandria. I wonder who you're gonna be. Will you hold the same values as we do? Will you love us for having created you? Will you resent us for having put you into an uncertain and dangerous world? Looking back at our history, our achievements, our crimes, what will you make of us? Will the world you create be like ours or so different that we can't even imagine it? Either way, I hope that you'll find this little blue planet to be as beautiful as we did. I hope you'll take care of it a lot better than we did. And I hope one day you'll look up and reach for the stars. Okay. Uh... Is there, any, is there a secret here? <laughs> I thought there might be a secret here. <laughs> um... I'm starting to doubt my... my thoughts. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm gonna have to go place the laser again. At least it doesn't reset the puzzles. I'm so grateful that they didn't weren't that cruel. I suppose it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Oh dear. <laughs> no. I hate it. Oh my god, I did it. These ones are sim these ones are genuinely a lot easier. Like holy shit. <laughs> it's just Either that or I'm just really lucky today for some reason. Even though I'm recording this on April Fool's Day. You'd think that it would be trolling the shit out of me, but no, apparently not. Um oh there's a star there. I don't know these areas would have stars. Oh, Two lovers are separated by the abyss of time and space, yet true love knows no obstacles. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, <laughs> that's only remembered. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> I suddenly recalled something. <laughs> well then. I just need one more puzzle, wherever that is. One more puzzle piece. I see it. I see the, I see the sphere, the, the half, the semi-sphere, the hemisphere. That's it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I should have seen that coming from a mile away. There we go. Oh, <laughs> I was so sure for a second there. No. 
<laughs> God damn it. Oh, this might be it. There we go. There we go. Yeah, these are. This is a significantly easier messenger, messenger to get. All right, let's get our messenger. After we solve this po one more puzzle, <laughs> I think this will be Barachiel. Barachiel, if I'm not mistaken. Uh. Oh, at first thing there, I was like, I don't have enough pieces for this. Oh my god, I solved it like straight away, holy shit. I did have enough pieces. I just, one of the pieces was really dark. Reveal yourself. Messenger of Elohim. Yeah, because I think it's Uriel, Bellish, um, Barachiel. Yeah, Barachiel. Barachiel X. Or Brachial. Brachial, Brachial, whatever. Salaf, because Salafiel is the third one. I would have got Uriel, Brachial, and Salafiel if it hadn't been that one of my friends was like a stand in. <laughs> Welcome, child. I'm one of those who elected to remain in the world as a messenger of Elohim of the Hidden Words. If you are ever in need, seek us out and cry for help. We will do what we can. Yeah. Alright, before we end the episode. Oh, I want to keep playing because we're right there at the end. <laughs> but I gotta record other stuff, you know? Can't just record the same game for hours and hours. Okay, apparently there are no Easter eggs here, which I'm shocked by. <laughs> We've got such a big space and there's no Easter eggs. But also, while I was checking out the Easter eggs, I reminded myself of what the possible endings to the game are. So maybe in the next two episodes, we'll explore the multiple endings of the game. I should be able to just, like, I'll back up my saves before I do any of them, but, um,. I should actually apparently be able to. You could just like. Your faith has guided you well. I think. She, I think he's gonna say this every time. You have overcome every trial in this land and gathered all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I think what we'll do is I'll back up my save at this stage. Um. Yeah, I think because I need to. Yeah, we'll back up my game at the stage. Next episode, what we'll do is we'll start off by just immediately getting the, the like Elohim messenger ending, which is apparently just like the easiest ending to get. So you just finish everything and then you go through the door and that's the end. Then we'll immediately proceed to, to get the uh, another ending which I could get straight away. Which is, uh, well, you'll find out. <laughs> I can get another ending that's like, instead of just going through this door to eternity, we use the red sigils and do another thing. But then the final ending, we'll do that in one, like that'll be one episode and then the final ending we'll do in one big episode. I don't know if I ever got the final ending. I, I, I should check my achievements. Okay. I've been spending ages like looking up, it's like, did I ever do the, the all the, end yes, I did all the endings. <laughs> I did all the white, uh, sigil ending. I did the white sigil ending as well. Yes, in the next episode, we'll get two of the three endings. In the third, ep in the next episode after that, we'll get the final ending, which involves, we'll go and get the other, um, white. We'll do, go and do the other white sigil puzzles. Where is that room in this space? I don't see it. I love the music that plays in here. Oh, it's over here. Yeah. I mean, we, maybe we'll start by doing that. <laughs> I don't know how I want to proceed. I'll decide in the next episode. If you like what you saw, hit like. If you want to see more free from me, then subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, in my next recording session, and so within the next two episodes, we will finish the game in every way that you can finish it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and until the next episode.